Hey, welcome to That Guy Talks Movies, or is it That Guy Talks Entertainment News? <laughs> this is a quick video uh, on the channel to follow up on the previous video I did regarding the Michael Jackson biopic that was announced and the announcement that his nephew, Jafar, would be playing the role, the lead role of Michael Jackson, playing his uncle. And I expressed some thoughts on that and expressed some thoughts on the actual movie itself and, what, and, and, and sort of what's to be expected and how I feel about um, the overwhelming task that is going to lay ahead for, for everyone involved in this production, most notably Antoine, Antoine Fuqua and, of course, Jafar Jackson. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead. I'll put a link in the comments below or you can see it somewhere in the screen. You can click to watch that actual video. But um, let's get into this uh, reason for this updated video. Uh, but before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I truly appreciate it. Uh, if you like listening to movie talk and occasional entertainment news and stuff revolving around movies and such, hit the subscribe button. All right? I truly appreciate everyone else that's been here and has been alone for the ride with me. So let's get into it. My previous video, I discussed my thoughts on Jafar Jackson playing the role of his uncle, playing the late, great Michael Jackson, the icon that is Michael Jackson. And I expressed some of my thoughts revol revolving around um, biopics um, and the effort that it takes to not only um, portray a character, right? For an actor to, to do that and to, to look like, or, you know, favor them in some way or a combination of them favoring them. And then the embodiment of that person's personality and the nuance of their character and all the different moves and things they do, whether it's personal or uh, on stage or whatever realm that, that they are in. Um, and I talked about Jafar Jackson. I did not think that he could possibly, um, I shouldn't say that, I didn't say he could possibly do it. Yeah, I, I think we could all expect a miracle and anything's possible, right? He could knock it out of the park and get an Oscar, which I'd love to see. Again, another reminder, positive about the idea. I would like for it to work, but I just, I don't think it will. But that brings me to the latest news, the latest update. This had me, this threw me for a loop. I, um, on the video that I put up recently, the Michael Jackson biopic video, somebody commented regarding, um, I believe it was a person named Jenny something. Um, sorry, I don't have the full name. I'll put it in the comments, but you know who you are if you're seeing this video. She put up a comment that Brandon Howard would be, uh, you know, the, the better pick than Jafar. Brandon Howard. I was like, who is she talking about? And I figured it was just another actor. And she said, no, Brandon Howard would be, you know, and he's the son of Michael. And I was like, what kind of... He he ha ha mama say mama say mama makusa type of nonsense is like what is that? So naturally, I went down the journalism rabbit hole and I started investigating and I I googled and then I went to one of the best sources for news and fact checking, which is Facebook. Just kidding, but no, I did. I put a post up on Facebook about it, and there's some relevancy here why I'm bringing up the Facebook post. Right, I put the Facebook post up regarding my shock uh, about this Brandon character. Because what I did was, I, I did do some YouTube searches. I did look at Google. I brought up all the information on Brandon Howe, and I was immediately floored. Uh, that, a, I was floored that I never even heard of this kid. I had no idea, never saw it in the media, never saw it in anything mainstream. I, shit, I've never seen a Facebook post about this. Um, so I was just floored. I was like, who is this? Went down that rabbit hole, looked at the YouTube videos, was, again, floored. Floored is probably not even the word I should be using. I went through the floor. Like, I was like, what is, like, what, where did this kid come from? And what's the legitimacy behind this? He's Mickey Howard's son. So I know who Mickey Howard uh, is. And uh, again, I started exploring. I started going on to Google and looking at whatever news sources I could find. Now, the Facebook, getting back to the Facebook post, I posted a Facebook post basically describing my shock and dismay, not dismay, but my shock over this entire uh, thing. And I put up a picture of the kid and like whatever, a couple, couple photos. And I said, wow, this is crazy. Somebody got on my Facebook page and um, said they know the boy's father and that the boy's father is apparently Augie Howard, who passed, who was uh, in, a, in a group for quite some time. I forgot the name, I think called the side effects or something along those lines. Um, rest in peace. I believe he died in like 2011. She claimed that she knew him and he was the father. He's the real father. And this is all nonsense, which got me sort of going back and forth for a second because I was wondering, all right, so your take on it or this person's take on it is that this kid has no relation to Michael Jackson whatsoever. And he's a Michael Jackson impersonator slash wannabe who's Mickey Howard's child with this Augie, uh, Augie How Howard guy or Augie Johnson, right? 
If that's the case, then explain the I, the lookalike thing and how are you telling me he had plastic surgery to look like Michael Jackson and he's acting and portraying Michael when he does his voice? He sounds just like Michael. So I'm like, is this just all a really good act, a really good impersonator? Is that what you're trying to tell me? The person, of course, gave me back and forth answers. I don't know. But let's get let's get to the to the other stuff. Let's get to what I found online. Now, Essence magazine. Um, there's an article in Essence magazine that Nikki Howard did, Mickey Howard, I'm sorry, about two years ago. Now, Essence, I looked at as, you know, reputable and having some sense of uh, integrity in their journalistic uh, approach to journalism and who they're quoting and what they're saying. They did an interview with her. And in the interview, this comes from Mickey Howard. So Essence Magazine says, the man claiming to be Brandon's father, Augie Johnson, has come out saying that Michael Jackson didn't even know you. Is that accurate? To which Mickey responds, I can't make any statement regarding to what that man is saying. I have no idea what he's talking about. This opens up cans of worms and memories and things that have no business being discussed in public. Then Essence uh, probes a little further. They say, there are people who say Brandon looks like a Jackson. Oh boy, does he. And she says, yeah, whatever, and laughs. I know he's my son. Yeah, we know he's your son. And I know that I've been the father for the past 30 years, okay? I know that I've been the one that supplied every emotional need, every financial need, every physical need. So the whole question is really and truly, it's like, get the F out of here. This is what she says. Um, now, that, that, that sounds like a, a mother who clearly, a single mother who's raised a kid and she's taken that you know, a lot of single women on Father's Day, they celebrate Father's Day because they are acting in dual roles oftentimes. And that's, that, that, that's you know, to be commended. And that's tough. Um, so she's, ba but you don't, there's nothing there that claims that Augie, this guy, she basically said that what he's talking, he has no idea what he's talking about, right? So let's get to the, let's get to the other juice of this story, right? I've went from uh, talking films to TMZ. Anyway, let's get to the rest of this. So the other rumor so if it's not Michael Jackson's son, in other words, with Mickey Howard, there's two parts to this. All right, let, let's let's move past Augie. Let's get to uh, let's get to Joe Jackson and Michael Jackson. The rumor that it's Michael Jackson's direct son, his progeny. Right, this is Michael Jackson's son with Mickey Howard, which and asks you know, begs the question. So Michael was tapping Mickey Howard or. Was it artificial insemination situation? Which would be my guess if, 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 if Mickey Howard gave birth to Michael Jackson's son, my guess would be that some point 30 years ago when this was happening, there was a orchestrated sort of situation that where they wanted Michael to have a child and they wanted to have a black child and they got with Miss Howard, um, and however that worked out, it worked out. But I believe that that's kind of what happened. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. Michael could have smashed it. I don't know. Do all due respect to Miss Howard, Michael and her could they could have made love and had this child and just kept it on the low. I don't know, but I I speculate. Now the other rumor is this. And this is this is where it gets you know it gets even more interesting. Could be Joe Jackson, Michael's father. Could be Joseph Jackson's child. Now, the connection there being Joe Jackson was managing Mickey Howard apparently at some point. And, you know, at some point maybe Joe tested the waters, pushed up on in the studio, pushed up on in the hotel after the recording session. I don't know. I don't know. On the road. I don't know. Possibly he did his thing and made love and had sex with Mickey Howard and they have a child. And it's been kept low. I don't know. But those are the two main things that came up first. So first thing was Joe Jackson's kid from an alleged affair, whatever that was, or it's Michael Jackson's direct son. The Augie thing, I didn't find out until the Facebook thing. So I guess Facebook had a certain amount of use, right? The, the person that, comment that commented, commented on that and mentioned this Augie guy um, led me down that rabbit hole to find out the information on him. I, he claims... To be fair, let's let's quote the, the the Augie stuff. He claims that that is his kid, and he knows for a fact. And he was in the room when the kid was born. And he's got photos, and he's got the birth certificate, and all sorts of documents and such that prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that he is the father of this kid. Now, that makes me say, especially in this day and age, 
then why not just produce that content? Like how hard would that be? Is there a reason you don't want to? Why would you not? Right? Just seems suspect to me. I, I think this kid is definitely a descendant of the Jacksons, right? In some way. I would guess it's probably Joseph Jackson because this kid is either Michael Jackson's son or brother. Because when you look at the videos, when you look at what's going on and you see him talk and you see his movement. Now, what's important, and I, I touched on it a little bit in the first video, but what's important in the portrayal of an iconic figure like that, especially someone so, again, complex and somebody with so much you know, nuance to their, their, their personality and their, and their movement and everything, right? It's not the big movements that you have to get down. It's not the moonwalk that you have to get down. It's not pointing and saying he, he, and doing all the dances, right? It's the little things. It's those subtle movements. When you look at Denzel play Malcolm, the subtle things, the, the, the voice inflection, the way he said things, the way he captured Malcolm's hand movement, his arm, his swagger, his entire, everything was caught. Same thing with, with when Jamie played Ray. Jamie played Ray. It wasn't just the look and the voice. It was tiny, tiny little movements when they're not on stage, when they're sitting in a, in a studio somewhere, in an office or at home at a table, those things. And this kid is like, he looks like a carbon copy of Michael Jackson. Now, I'm not saying that the looks, because again, someone else on Facebook made a comment about the that this kid looks like Michael Jackson post surgery, so he doesn't look like the like a natural Michael Jackson from back in the th uh, younger Michael pre surgery Michael, which I agreed with. But it's none the like it doesn't change the fact when you look at this kid and listen to him. And I, I I challenge you go ahead and go into YouTube and look at some of his videos and some of his interviews. I mean, if he's an actor and he's acting, then that brings me full circle to my real point, which is this should be the one playing Michael Jackson. Who's with me? Anton Fuqua, Lionsgate, producers uh, at Lionsgate, everyone handling this Michael biopic. See if you can get with this kid. Now, that does bring me to the part of this story that, you know, which is where the concern comes from. And it, apparently Nikki Howard, Mickey, Mickey Howard, I keep calling Nick, Mickey Howard, I apologize, has a, like a uh, NDA, non-disclosure agreement, where she can't talk about things. And she mentions that in the Essence article. And that is rumored to be part of the rationale as to why she can't deny or confirm or say anything regarding her son. So we won't get any kind of confirmation there from her lips. Um, and, and possibly that's why the Jackson estate uh, and the legal teams that be and all those efforts and the billions of dollars in lawyers that they keep around them. That's probably why this hasn't also made like much more headline news and been a big thing. Um, there's secrecy there. There's there's something, you know, there's something going on. Joe either or Michael, whatever. I don't believe the Augie thing personally. That's just me. You let me know what you think. All right. I, I'm I'm done. In the comments below, let me know who, who the daddy is. Right? I went from like talking about movies and now it's an entertainment news channel slash Jerry Springer or whatever. Who the daddy is, right? Let me know in the comments below who you think uh, Brandon Howard, B. Howard, who his real father is. Let me know. Is it possible it's Michael Jackson? Do you think it's Joe Jackson or do you think it's Augie? Let me know. Or let me know if you think he'd do a better job than Jafar Jackson. I personally think he would nail it. Just on, if it's an acting job that we've got to do, this kid is already way light years ahead of Jafar Jackson. All right. Jafar might be able to, in the next few, you know, whatever amount of time it takes in their pre production and he's learning and studying the, the, what, what he's got to study to, to portray his uncle, he may learn it all and nail it. I could be dead wrong. I, I you know, I will, I will make that announcement after we see the movie. If I was wrong, I'm wrong and he nails it power to him. But right now, the way it stands, if I'm casting, I'm going with this kid, B. Howard. And it's probably because of the non-disclosure agreement, probably because of all the legal stuff behind the scenes, because no one even knows who this kid's dad is, that we're not getting him. And that's why they're staying away from him. All right. That's it for me on That Guy Talks Movies. That Guy Talks Entertainment. <laughs> just wanted to follow up, right? Again, I appreciate everyone being here. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you like the video, definitely hit that like button. I appreciate that on the way out. And I will see you on the next That Guy Talks Movies.